Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Alien Syndrome on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum and far as I know there is only a 48k version of this game. So this is based on the 1987 game by Sega, which I didn't particularly like that much. Now, out of all the home versions that I've reviewed so far, none of them have been very good to be honest with you. So. Let's see how the Spectrum version plays. Right, so we've got some options here. So, all right, Kempston joystick, might as well. One or two players. Pause, what's that, N? Pause, continue, restart, new game, right. Okay, enter to begin game. All right, select your character. The bomb is set, so we've got to collect. Oh, oh. I don't think the CPC version was a spectrum port. The graphics do look different. So how the fuck did they make such a shit game on the CPC then? So it's got this weird scrolling. What? Oh, bollocks. So we got that horrible scrolling going on up, down, left and right on the spectrum. Hmm. Oh, fucking hell, but all suffer from the same problem. Especially the Commodore 64. When you're on the edge of the screen, you can't see what's coming up until it's too late. Well, this has got better collision detection than the Amstrad CPC version. Programmed by Softech. Who the fuck are they? Oh, I can say I hope they didn't do many games. Um, rescue 10 comrades. Yeah, I'll be lucky if I can do that. Couldn't get anywhere on the other versions. Oh, I was fucking shooting that. Come on, don't be fucking pedantic with the fucking collision detection. So with this version, so you've got a little bit of a turkey turn, so you've got to wait for him to do that little turn on the catwalk. No, this ain't fucking right, said Fred. <laughs> Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I've got a laser. Oh, good. So let's have a look at the map. Right, so that's where I've got to rescue my comrades. Right, there's another one there. Now, this ain't no way as bad as the CPC version. That is definitely the worst version. Well, this I would definitely go to put this on par with the C, not with the CPC version, with the Commodore 64 version and the Amiga versions because they didn't play very good as well. And well, this is not great. I just don't. Why does it? Why does it? Why does it have to scroll like that? I know the Spectrum can do good scrolling. I've played games where it's done good scrolling. And that applies to 48k games as well. Why wasn't there no 1 to 8k game of this? I'm sure when it, it came out in 87. So the conversion might have been, yeah, 1987. But was the conversion 1987 or was that 1988? Before, uh, 1 to 8k Spectrum was out. Was they too fucking tight to buy one, these fucking companies? Could have got one from Dixon's, couldn't you? Right. Ooh. He moves around quite slow, and then he scrolls and he speeds up. See, I don't get... Now, now he's... I 
I wouldn't want to pay 9.99 for this. <sighs> if you like this game, then good for you. As I said, I wasn't that enthusiastic with the arcade conversion of this game. Fuck's sake. It's the close how close I'm getting to the edge of the screen it, it a little bit of luck plays here because I can easily get here and you can't fucking see it and it's really hard to um, move because you've got that little delay when he turns round I'm sure the other versions didn't do that so I've got the flamethrower here but See what I? I'm sure the collision detection was slightly off there, but no way as bad as the CPC version. That just took the piss. So it makes me think: Why did the Commodore 64 version have a multi-load? It just just wasn't good enough to have a multi-load. Um, let's have one more go. I'm not that, I'm just really not that enthusiastic with this game, I'm really not. And that just goes for every, and that goes for every version, not just the Spectrum. See what I mean? I'm right close to the edge of the screen. You, oh bollocks, this is shit. It's just ah, oh, look, now there's slowdown going on. I, I I'm just not that enthusiastic with this game. I'm really not. Um, every conversion I played, all of them had problems, all of them, but not as far as bad as the CPC version. That was clearly the worst. But I'll certainly put this Spectrum pool on par with the Commodore 64 version and Amiga version because they weren't particularly very good versions as well. But then again, I wasn't that enthusiastic with the original arcade game. Uh, graphics do the job, I guess, but it's just... I don't know, the scrolling... The scrolling is a big part of the problem. Why does it need to scroll that way? Why can't you just have the character in the middle and just let, when you walk, it does the scrolling where the character's always in the middle, you can see what's coming. And that's the problem with all the versions. All the versions had the same problem. I don't know. I don't, maybe it's just me, I'm just not very enthusiastic with this game. I don't know, I just felt they all had problems in their own way. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time and goodbye.